was maybe the sort of chance that he would have put away first time last season when he, you know, he ended up with 34 goals last season. You know, right now he's on 11. So, you know, his confidence can't be great um, for whatever reason, whether it's been the tactics or, um, you know, there's something else. I mean, he's 29 years old now. You know, have we already had the best of him over the last couple of seasons? Um, so he doesn't, maybe he's not such a natural fit for the way that Rodgers wants to play which is a much slower build-up than uh, under Ange. You know, we don't get the ball across the face of the goal as fast as we did. Uh, a little bit too pedantic, I think, in the build-up. But, um, you know, Kyogo made his contribution last night, without a doubt. And uh, I think as long as he's on the pitch, he's probably occupying a couple of defenders. And that should create a bit of space for somebody, uh, typically O'Reilly. But... Uh, you know, I was pleased to see him get on. I, I think there's so many games, particularly home matches, you know, things like Ross County at home or Bucky Thistle at home. You know, we should be playing with two up front. You know, this we're, we're so wedded to 4-3-3. Um, and it's, it, I can't remember the last time we had a manager, probably Strachan, um, that, that was maybe a bit more pragmatic, a bit of a 4-4-2 specialist and um, I was talking to one of the guys in the Celtic um, Academy who said that every one of the underage teams plays 4-3-3. They play with two wide men, you know, inverted fullbacks, whatever, uh, but every, everything is set up for the way the first team plays and I, you know, frankly in Europe I think it's it's not pragmatic to play with two white men when you go away from home in Europe. And I think that's part of the reason why we've had so little success in, in Europe in the last 10 years.